Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm the Gerbil. In today's video, we are going to look at the gear cargo 1, 2, gear completion, and gear finishing bundles in the store. They pop up from time to time, last for about a week, and they're all $25. It can be kind of uh, challenging to figure out which one gives you the best bang for your buck. So in today's video, what I want to do is try to help everyone whale smarter. Or if you are a light spender, get the most out of your money. It's really not clear at all what you're necessarily getting in these, nor what they're worth. So I'm gonna to try to break this down Barney style, as Captain Bishop would say, and try to figure out and present to you some information to help you get the best deal, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of myself here and talk to you now about what these are. Of course, for $25, you could just straight up buy two crystal packs for $20 and $5, which is going to net you 3,410 crystals. Is that a better deal? Spoiler, no, it's not. So let's look at these bundles. They're worth way more. Now, the cargo gear one and two focus on core gear. Now, that's the traditional stuff you need to get up to gear 12. The gear finisher and gear completion, despite the cover art for that one, are more about the gear 12 finishing. Uh, the, here's what's inside them, and you'll see real quick. The gear completion on the right, that's kind of the three gear items on the left side of a gear 12 character, and the gear finishers in the middle, that's the three items on the right side of your character's gear 12, like when you're trying to apply the gear to them. The cargo gear 1 and 2 actually offer exactly the same materials, but different quantities of them, which is how it's kind of hard to figure out what you're getting. So let's break this down more. All of these, or at least three of them, have Chirotex. Three of them have Carbontes. Three of them have Stun Cuffs Droid Collars. Three of them have the Golden Eyeballs. And as I said, they have a variable amount, which I'll show you next, but these are the pieces that are unique to each pack. Everything else is available somewhere else. So if you are absolutely needing Gear 12 pieces, then the finisher and the completion is the way to go but there's more to this story so don't leave yet here's the breakdown of the variabilities there are as you can see just on the left the chirotex 25 to 100 of those in the cargo one but then it's flipped you're guaranteed 50 in cargo two and there you have an opportunity for 25 to 100 of everything else okay similar process on the right to really understand what you're getting in terms of value. We need to understand what the crystal value per item is. So if you go to the weekly shipments and you do some quick math, I don't think I messed any of this up. I might have, but this is what you pay in the weekly shipments per gear item. So you can see like a Carbonti is 28 crystals per item, right? A Chirotech is 20 crystals per item. The gold eyeballs at the bottom and the stun guns are the only thing worth under 30. All right, so let's now do some real math and see this as cleanly as we can. So here's the cargo one versus cargo two. There's a 45% chance, almost half, that when you buy this, you'll roll the minimum value possible. And at that minimum value, on the left, you get 25 Chirotex, on the right, you'll get 25 core value or core gear pieces. The purple numbers are crystals. The Cargo Gear 1, worst probability, nets 8,150 crystal value of gear if you just bought it all in the, the weekly shipments. Way better deal than the 6,175 value on the Cargo 2. However, if we don't land the 45%, if you happen to get on, say, the mid-range, there are two other options you could land, but let's say you hit the 15% mid-range. The winner shifts to the cargo two, as suddenly you get 55% of all the uh, core gear, and that nets you 10,225 crystal value out of the pack. Three times what you can get for just buying the crystal crate pack. All right, so good deal. But what if you get lucky? What if you get that 5% drop chance? Well, 16,300 is what it would cost you to buy all these gear pieces with crystals. And that 
is a stellar bargain, but it's a 5% chance. Do not count on that. Realistically, you could buy 20 of these and not get one of them. So just assume you're gonna get the minimum value. And in the minimum value, the Cargo Gear 1 is the better deal. What about the core or the gear finishers? All right, the minimum payout that you could get for this $25 packs is not that different. The question is, do you need what's on the right or on the left? You could go with this or you could go with that, right? 8,050 versus 7,300. The winner though is in terms of purchasing power, the finishers on the left. All right, what if you get a better roll and you land one of the mid-range options? In that situation, the winner is still the finishers at 12,425. But now notice a dramatic difference in terms of net value. The completion pack is not worth nearly as much. And if you happen to get that very lucky 5% roll though, the completion will give you a lot more, but it's still underwhelming compared to the gear finishers, valued at 15,900 crystals. So if we take this back to the original graphic and we say which one of these, if any, are better than just buying $25 worth of crystals, the answer is all four of them. Whether you're looking at the minimum, a mid-range, or maximum rolls, the $25 Cargo 1 package is going to minimum eight, give you a value of gear worth 8100 up to 12,000 crystals. The Cargo Gear 2 has the lowest potential value at 6,175 crystals, but the maximum has the highest potential value at 16,000. Again, assume though you're going to roll the minimum because you have a almost 50% chance to get there. The gear finishers has a slightly better range in terms of value, 8,000 to 15,900. Not as high, but definitely higher on the low end. And the gear completion has the lowest range from 7,300 crystal value at the low end up to 11,2, again, depending which you roll. So to summarize this, is it better than buying crystals? 100% unequivocally, yes, if you need the gear. In terms of which pack is better, absolutely, I'm gonna have to go with, I don't know. Maybe the Cargo 2, if you believe in gambling. Cargo 1 for stability, but gear finishers if you want to guarantee value. You know what? I think it's time to roll and see what I'm gonna get. And 50 carbonti. Oh, I got the 55. 